Hey guys, happy go lucky here. We're back with another maths question of the day. Today's question is question one part B, many parts of question one, on the IGCSE Cambridge paper four, and it's all about simple interest. Yesterday you would have done compound interest if you've been doing them in order. So this is the difference today between compound interest and simple interest. Question is as follows. Horace invests $550 at the rate of 2% per year simple interest. Calculate the value of the investment at the end of 10 years. Press pause. Have a go at it, and then we'll be back with the work solutions in five, four, three, two, one. Okay guys, we're back with the work solutions. If you're doing these in order, then the last question was compound interest. That's when the interest changes every year because your amount changes. Simple interest is slightly different. Imagine like when you're paying a bill or something like that, it's always the same amount every time. That's the difference with simple interest and compound interest. So if Boris has got 550 every single time, the interest will be 2% regardless of the original amount. So, first job is to work out what is 2% of 550. You can work out that 10% is just to divide that by 10. 55, or oh, what, maybe put pounds there. $55. Then 1% is divide that by 10. $5.50. So if 1% is $5.50, then 2% is double 1%. So that'll be $11. So every year, it's not going to change. He always pays $11. Now we've done it for 10 years. So we're going to do 10 times 11, 10 times $11. No calculator needed for that one. It's just $110. And the question says, calculate the value of the investment at the end of 10 years. So from 550, we now add the 110 to the 550, and that gives us $660. So the answer is $660. And sixty dollars. So that's the difference between simple interest and compound interest. I hope you enjoyed that one. I've been Happy Go Lucky, and you've been doing some math. Good for you. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.